been a great week. I mean, guys positive, a lot of great energy. Coach Brunger saying um, <clears throat> the other day and uh, explained to us how um, if we went out and do our job, um, the tables would turn and be in our favor. So, I mean, we stand positive. Guy got a lot of energy. Coach taking care of us this week. And, um, I'm looking forward to these last couple of weeks. It should be interesting. Yeah, Matt, definitely glad to meet you. And this is Alan from the Alan Aaron Sports Red Show. Definitely, you had a big game too. This last game, you had eight tackles total. Talk about your performance to help the team out and help them win this first game. Uh, it was all a collective, man. Special teams played well. We came in, we had a we had a plan on special teams. I mean, I feel like it starts there. I mean, offense played great. Quentin Darmody came out and played well the last couple of weeks, man. Great guy. Um, it's been a lot of good energy, man, and we just coming together. And I feel like we're playing together. We're loving on each other. And, and when you're playing hard and playing for each other, it's hard to lose. So I, mean, I just feel like it's all coming together. You know what I'm saying? It takes patience like this for a startup league. Guys ain't been around each other that long. I mean, it takes a couple couple weeks to jail and understand what you, you know what I'm saying, who you're playing with, what you, what's on the, on the side of you. You know what I'm saying? And just taking the next step. Matt, how you doing? This is Kyle Nash with the three point conversion. Um, good to meet you. Um, you know, you had mentioned that 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 there's the talk of the thirty three point three percent, right? If you guys win out, you have a shot at the playoffs. Um, with Coach saying that to you, has it started to get into kind of a playoff atmosphere there in practice and as you prepare for the Renegades this weekend? Oh yeah, guys are locked in. Um, our energy playoff starts now. Um, if you think about it, you get in the NFL, you got your you got your divisional game. You got your divisional, you know what I'm saying, the divisional rounds. And just like the last five weeks, man, it's, it's playoff time. So it's win or go home. So you lose a game, you're packing up. And I'm not ready to pack up. No. And these guys not ready to pack up either. You can see it in their eyes where they focus and locked in on these days that coach given us. So it's, it's been great days. So I'm, I'm excited what these next few weeks going to bring. And a quick follow-up to that, Matt. On that path that you mentioned, you got two teams that, well, let's just say you owe them. Uh, on the way back through in the form of the Renegades and the Brahmas as well later down there. Does that add a little bit more spice to uh, what's upcoming? Oh, yeah, it's the Revenge Tour. Um, we took our beatings the last first couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the Revenge Tour. Guys locked in, and we got a lot of competitive guys. You know what I'm saying? So, And, and these guys we have around us, um, these guys don't want to lose twice. I can see it. You know what I'm saying? I can feel it when we lost to them the first time. I just feel like we all coming together, man. Coach is challenging us the right way, and we responding well. So I feel like we took our punches. I feel like it's the revenge tour. Matt, how do you how do you go about kind of taking a, you know, the win that you you guys had, and how can you kind of turn that into some momentum going forward in the next couple of games? What can you guys do oh, to do that? It's always good when you go one and zero. You know, um, it feel good. Everything tastes better. Food tastes better. Drinks uh, feel better. You know what I'm saying? So. It's just get, building off that, you know what I'm saying? Knowing you, you mean you beat the best team in the league. If you can't, if you can't build off that, you, uh, something wrong with your heart, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like we have something great to build off of. We got a lot of great guys that believe, coaches that believe, you know what I'm saying? And so, like I said, the revenge tour, and I'm looking forward to the next couple of weeks. Hi, Matt. Jeff Barnes from Team of BS Media. Very few people could say they're from a professional football family. Your brother Abram played in the NFL. You were drafted by the Ravens. You have Kair now in the NFL. Tell me how it feels. You know, you're still playing this game uh, at the pro level. How it feels to have multiple family members go through this and a special feeling that is. Oh, it's a blessing, man. I thank God to this day, man. He's continued to bless us, bless our family uh, tremendously. Um, I got to thank God first, man. It's honest. Like it's a blessing. I'm just glorifying God for the tools He blessed us with and the way He put us put in our lives and our family. We're just taking advantage of it and, and glorifying God. So I mean it's a blessing and it's an honor to continue to grow in, in this league. You know what I'm saying? It's a great league. I mean, so it's a blessing. Like I said, I without God, I don't think it's possible. So we just glorifying God and just enjoying our blessings. In 2020, you were a DC defender. Hey, you come out, you're 0-6, and you get that first win against said team. How did that feel? Oh, it was a great feeling. Um, it was no hard feeling because I love D.C., man. I had a great time there. Um, it was a great time there. I love the guys that's on their teams. I mean, the guys that was on our team before, it was great. Man. I mean, like I said, it's been a revenge tour. We got to get right, man. We got to turn the ship. Uh, we've been like – like uh, we had our sermon the day before the game about uh, 
Fridays and Sundays coming. I feel like it's to turn the tables, man. God is shining his light on us, and we're going to do great things in these last couple of weeks. Yeah, and you kind of helped out one of your teammates. We had Katie Cannon on here, and you were the only player that he recognized or actually played with. What did you kind of tell him about this team to kind of make him feel at home? Now, I just told him, come in and be him, man, because I knew him because I played with him in Canada. I played him indoor football, so I already knew what he could do. I just told him, come do, come be you, man, because I know how Quentin, Quentin was confident, confident in his arm right now. He's going to throw it to you. So just make the play when it come, man. Just just be you. Don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? We we brought you in for a reason, to get the deep ball, and, and that's what you do great. So just be you. Like I told him, just be you, bro, and that's, that'll be great for us, and it, and it turned out well. You know, Matt, you, you as a team had been trending up for some time. Even Coach Barlow, um, after the game, had mentioned that you guys were looking to pop. Uh, I'm sure he would have preferred it not be against his squad, but nonetheless, like he said, he had said that you guys were looking to pop. Um, the reason why I, I bring that up is uh, some an, an advantage you guys had that no one else in the XFL in this version has had is you got to see them on Monday night going into this upcoming game did you was that kind of like a little scouting opportunity did you learn anything from watching them on that monday night game going in oh yeah oh for sure because i mean you can't do too much it's a short week it ain't too much else you can put in you know what i'm saying so we know what they was coming with we know how the game was gonna come and it was a lot of motivation came after that game too because after the game you can hear out of uh I guess they play Seattle this week and they was seattle players were saying how we get to play against the undefeated team and so it was, it was a lot of motivation into that, too. So, yeah, we was locked in. We watched it as a team. We was locked in. So, I mean, they couldn't change too much because in the short week, it's hard to, you know what I'm saying, it's hard to put in a lot of new things. So, I mean, they didn't they didn't change a bit. And we were well prepared. Coaches did great. And um, that was a great outcome. Matt, I, I wanted to ask, um, what was the biggest highlight for you outside the win, obviously? What was the biggest highlight post game from that win on Saturday? Um, Coach Buck getting his first win, man. That's it was that was the highlight, man. I was happy for him. Um, he working so hard, man. He challenging us the right way, trying to take care of us. He's doing the best he can. I mean, it's his first time, and I can see the, in the energy and the love he have for it. And so, getting for him to get his first win and get his first bath, it, it was amazing, man. I'm happy for him, and I and I'm happy for the way this thing turned around for him too. You, I know you're on the other side of the football, but what have you seen out of Quentin Dormandy? I mean, what what you last you mentioned the last three weeks? He's he's obviously been on kind of on sync. What it, what has stood out to you from what you've seen on your side of the football? Um, he just being confident, and believing in the talent he have around him. I mean, the first I mean, I feel like Quentin first game he didn't play bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just some guy was in his lap a couple of times. He didn't make bad throws, a couple of tip balls and things like that. So I always had confidence in Dormandy, man. So I already knew what he could do. Like I say, he he confident right now. He believe in his guys. I mean, when well, you got guys like Cody and I mean Rambo and and guys like that and, and uh, Eli, you got guys like that. It's hard. I mean, all you gotta do is put the ball in their hands and they're gonna make plays. So I mean, he's feeling confident. They know what he's working with. Like I say, our team coming together. We realize what we got next to us, and it is it, it becoming joy. You know what I'm saying we glorifying God. Yeah. On that note, you know, you have a lot of great experience in, in football, just so people understand who don't know about the XFL as well. Tell them, tell us a little bit about your background so people could see how much you know about football. Oh, yeah, I've been I've been around, man. I played I probably played in every professional league it was. man. I played played three years University of Florida, played four years in Baltimore, badly injured. But I mean, I played around with some great guys, played against some great guys, played one of the best programs and in, in, in football period. I mean, it's a great, it's a great uh, program. So, I mean, I've experienced a lot, played against a lot of great guys. I played in the CFL. Uh, I played in the XFL before. So I played a lot of football and I feel like I got a lot of reps. So I can help guys because it's nothing like experience when you go through it and, and you did it and then repetition. So, I mean, it's an honor just to be guys, just to pour the guys that never seen it before, you know what I'm saying? Motivating them guys to see it, you know what I'm saying? So just, just being that leadership and, 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 and guiding guys. And Matt, um, the first six games, you guys were struggling to get that big stop to get people off the field. Tell me the mindset you guys had those last couple of series where you needed that big stop and you got it this time. Uh, like I say, it's the revenge tour, man. It's like playoffs. So, man, it's, it's got to be more communication. It got to be 
lock in more during the week so we on point and know we dealing with you you know what i'm saying watching film and know what's coming you know things like that just gotta lock in a little more like i said it's play type playoff time when to go home so i mean you locked in in the moments man you know you're talking more you 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 uh you you recognizing things that you saw all week, so it's it's, it's just a, a a focus thing, just locking in and know it's the, it's it's the last player you go home. So we locking in a little more and believing in what our coach is putting in. They putting in great things, you know, and doing great things for us. We just got to do our job. You know, Matt, I, I got to ask. I'm, I'm curious. So you got the big W this week. Um, has, do you feel like as you've gone through practice this week that that's lead, led to you guys to having better practice? Have you been more productive in practice now that you got the W under your belt? Oh, yeah. Guys, you know what I'm saying? Guys not moping around. Guys confident, you know what I'm saying, and believing. When you're confident, believing, and have faith, you, you know what I'm saying, that gives you a different kind of spark, a good kind of energy. So guys seeing things, you know what I'm saying, doing things that you, you know what I'm saying? So you you feeling good and you, you feeling in confidence. So it's like you build off that all week and then you go in the game and you're able to play fast because you're confident in what you prepare, preparation, you know what I'm saying? You're confident in your preparation. So you make plays and doing things. So the game slow down a little bit. And you mentioned your experience and since you've had, you know, your fair share of coaches, Terrell Buckley, how, Coach Buckley, how would you say it's been working with him? Oh, it was an honor, man. I love Coach. He's he been around the league. He's seen a lot of things. Like, I mean, he's seen way more than I've seen, but I respect Buck for what he did and, and those things and, and what he's trying to do. So uh, I'm learning from him every day, um, mental standpoint, physical standpoint, because he looked good for his age. So it's a lot of small things I'm learning from him, man, that can help me because I want to be a coach one day too. And I can see, I can see this is his first time as a head coach, but you can see his passion and how much he want to win and the things he's putting in and the way he challenges his players. So I mean, he's a true, a true role model and an example. I definitely want to learn from taking the next step. But I mean, I learned it from him every day. He's a great guy, and I'm happy for him. And I, that's why I'm so locked in, and and I want to win these next couple of games because I feel like he deserves it. And yeah, Matt, uh, you're definitely one of the leaders in that secondary, if not just on that defense alone. Um, when you have those breakdowns, we've seen guys with the blown coverages. We've seen the missed tackles that led to big plays. When you get to the sideline, is it more of a constructive talk? Is it that, hey, or is it that stern, no more? We can't have that anymore. This is all about trying to make the plays. We can't have it. Is it more of a constructive thing where you guys are just building them up? Or is it the leadership of, hey, no more, period? You gotta know you. You gotta know who you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying. That's why you prepare all week. You know. You know. You know who you're dealing with. You know guys. You can step on their toes, and you know guys. You got to pat on their back. So, I mean, it's a different way of doing, guys. You gotta know you're dealing with, and you gotta know. You know what I'm saying. You also gotta challenge guys. You know what I'm saying. Cause we prepare together all week, so I'm believing in you and trusting you. So when you come out the field, I feel like you let me down. But it's play the next play. You know what I'm saying. And and when you feeling like that, you feel like you let your brother down next time, you're going to make a play the next time. So that's why I feel like that's why it's all about preparation during the week and believing in each other and knowing each other and know how to deal with it. Like, you can't step on anybody. So you, know, you might have to pat that guy on the back and say, let's go, bro. You got this. You know what I'm saying? And another guy, you probably can say, oh, yeah, man, you got to tighten up, man. We can't have that. You know what I'm saying? You're better than that. So it's, 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 it's challenges. You know what I'm saying? That's why we prepare all week together. You know what I'm saying? Knowing what you got and knowing your brother knowing and believing in your brother next to you. Hey, Matt, um, you know, Terrell said earlier this week that sometimes he likes to, he gets challenged by guys on the field and he likes to go out there and prove he's still, he's still got it physically. Has he, has he, have you seen that? Has he gone on the field and maybe kind of, you know, uh, uh, shown a little bit of what he still has? Oh, Buck always out there trying to show his, his work. You know what I'm saying? He getting that low stance. Man, I had to learn, I actually learned that from him, man. Staying low all the time. You know what I'm saying? The whole the whole play, before the play, always being low. I, that's one thing I learned about Buck. But he always there trying to show us his little feet he got, you know what I'm saying, to show his little – he, you know, he's, still, he's still in shape a little bit. He be trying to show us off. You know, I mean, he played 14 years in the league. You know what he's doing. So, I mean, you can't help but listen and, and uh, latch on to that. So, yeah, he he do it all the time, Charlie. I don't know if he can run 40 yards, but he, he, he'll he do the, the, the 5 to 10, the 5, 10 to 15 for sure. <laughs> Um, it's hard to follow it up. That's a cool vision, man. Um, with that in mind, uh, I always like to get the opinion of, of, of the, of, of performance from the guys that people practice against you being, um, you know, one of the big, uh, presences on this defense. I got to ask, what is the progression? What's the thing you've seen this offense improve most as you practice against them throughout the season? Uh, taking shots, you know what I'm saying? Taking shots downfield. 
and, and believe in what you see, um, especially for the quarterback. Uh, and guys running open. I mean, you've got a lot of talented guys, crafty guys that get open. Just believe they're going to catch it. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's for preparation. Make that play. Make the hard, make practice hard so games could be easy. So throw that thing down the field. Even if you see two high, two high safeties or a middle field safety, throw it down there. Get a receiver a chance, man. They make their money too. So that's what it's come by. Preparation. Preparation brings champions in the, on Sundays, on Sundays and Saturdays. So yeah, that's what I see. I just take I see Dormy throwing the ball in practice downfield. We we taking that next step. The receivers finishing route. So you see it. You can see the you can see the preparation paying off for sure. Now you were the one on the field and you played some really good teams and DC's defenders were, you know, had a perfect record. Were they, in your opinion, by far the best team you played? A great team. Um, I don't know if they're the best team we played. I, I don't know about that, but this is their scheme, man. And they, they, they coach Barlow doing a great job. They discipline. They don't make a lot of mistakes. Look, compare them to most teams in our league. We make a lot of mistakes. Shoot yourself in the foot. They don't make a lot of mistakes. And against us, they they led the penalty column, so, and, it, and it shows. So they don't make a lot of mistakes. But I don't think they're the best team though, that I've seen, though. But as far as sch- schematically, they probably – but I, as far as talent, nah. They're just doing the right thing. They're just well-coached. Well-coached for sure. Time for a couple more, guys. Nothing? All right. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, Best Matt. wishes to you. See you Thanks, Matt. Good luck this week. All right. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome.